Check, check. Check, check, Luga. Check, a Luga. Whistle, whistle, check. <clears throat> Throat, clear, check. Whistle. Bird whistling. So back to the birds, I do. Check a luga. Stop looking, listen. Listen, to the birds waking up in the morning. In the morning, rising sun, you hear the birds chirping, whistling. My morning wake up call is about stopping to stop looking, listen. My attention span isn't isn't very long. It needs to be shorter as well. Very long unless I'm either feeling. Filling that span, the time span with spam or keeping it simple. Hello, Lord. Love your neighbor as yourself. That daily bombardment with spam and junk mail from different sources, whether they be regular mail, snail mail, or email, or, or real actions, thoughts, and deeds. Bound to get anybody up, uptight in their uproar. Having to sit, having to sift through that good. Sift through the good stuff, the bad, or not so good. It takes time, discernment, and patience. Striving to keep that attention span focused on what's right and worthy. Striving to keep that attention, yep. What's right and worthy. Things and others can break, can, can break that attention, causing us to either be reactive or proactive. Proactive keeps us under the eyes and ears of the big man upstairs as we keep the faith. Focus on doing right. But when faltering out of line, out of line with him, we may end up bursting the tr the bubble and reacting in, in bad ways. It's sure to happen, will or if not has already happened, will be happening. While running er errands yesterday, a truck almost sideswiped me as they changed lanes into mine without giving me an indicator. Yeah, changed lanes. Truck almost sideswiped me as they. Changed lanes into mine. Thankfully, I was focused and slowed down to keep from banging them, banging into them, and them banging into me. I honked the horn and returned to their spam, which the driver at first gave a a light wave and then turned to the, the turned to the finger that international sign of hello or <laughs> opposite of hello, the opposite of good. The rage tried to rear its rear its head, but I kept the faith though and kept calm by stopping to look and listen to. The one who guides me, the big man upstairs, guides me to righteousness on a daily basis. In the, in the past, I've spun out of control when getting spammed like that or other situations, getting spammed by careless drivers. So I've been on the receiving end and the giving end, or I've been careless, which I made worse with either getting into a wreck, getting a traffic ticket, or paying a fine, or getting worse situations, but no, nah, I mean, <clears throat> Stop looking, listening, because he's constantly listening, hearing, as in Psalm 34, 15. Psalm 34, verse 15. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his eyes are upon, are open unto their cry. So I reciprocate the Lord's love, and fear him, and admonition, and love, and care, and kindness, as he keeps his eyes upon the righteous, and the ears open, listening to our cries for help. That's my challenge, to stop looking, listen, to fill my attention span with good, not bad fill my attention span with good things not evil things good spam not evil spam there's some good spam food out there fry it up cook and eat it food wise for nourishment fill our, our needs not our wants nor our desires and our drives should be big masters guiding us everything saying do is walk talk chew it out may do the same this has been the blabber sign off for now. Be blab, blue, blab, blue, blab, blue. And we stop looking, listen, because he's he's listening, looking, and listening. We do the same. Semper five. Always faithful. Semper five. Always looking and listening. He is looking and listening. Sign off. Thanks for joining me, Uncle Paul from Pennsylvania. Have a good one.